welcome. How are you? I hope you're doing okay in the midst of everything that's going on. Um, of course, I want to address what is happening in the world, but at the same time, I totally just want this to be a place of pure entertainment. I think our minds have been so consumed in what is going on that um, we need some more places for some normalcy. So I hope that is what I can bring to you today. And today I am doing a scrapbook layout for Scrapbook Nerd. And the theme for me today is uh, florals, which is so fun. Of course, you know I love florals. Uh, who doesn't? So uh, the way I am starting off today is I am using a cut file. This is a cut file from Paige Evans. I believe it might be from her Facebook group or something. Um, and if you know me at all, you know I don't use cut files on scrapbook layouts a lot because I feel like you're either in one of two categories. You either love doing... Um, love like filling in all the little pieces and the papers and the tracing and and putting your cut file together uh you some people find a lot of joy out of that some people like the you know concentration and and doing that and then there's people like me who you know it's really tedious <laughs> it's a lot of work to put all the pieces of the cut file in and, and measure them and trace them and cut them out and make sure they're all perfect. So yeah, that's where I stand on that. But I do have a bunch of cut files cut out that I have just at hand in case there's a certain layout I want to use them for. And um, this layout is one of them. I think this is such a cute cut file and I thought it went, went really well with the theme, which is florals. Um, that doily is also from my stash, but all these papers I'm using are from Scrapbook Nerd, obviously. Um, I love the Cray Paper All Heart Collection. I'm totally obsessed with it. So that is what I'm using today. Um, yeah, and just kind of having, having fun with that collection. And then also I'm using some of the Maggie Holmes Heritage Collection. So I'm gluing my cut file here, gluing it down. I'm just putting it flat right down on the page. Um, as you can see, I didn't, I didn't fill in all the pieces of my cut file because I just didn't have the patience for it. But I think this layout in general turned out great anyway. Um, I think, in my opinion, you can't really go wrong when you're using the All Heart Collection. It is what dreams are made of. It is my favorite collection probably almost ever, which is, yeah, I just love the colors. I love the vibes of it. Uh, so cute. So I'm actually going to put double layers onto this uh, photo because I put some chipboard on and it just lined up it didn't, I didn't like the way the chipboard and the paper lined up with each other. So I wanted the, um, the photo to be a little bit more elevated than the chipboard, that floral that I put to towards the right. And then we have the one on the left. Um, and I love doing different challenges like this because I think it helps me, um, have a direction to go in when creating my layout. Uh, because for me, I don't, I never know like where to start. I just feel a little bit overwhelmed. And so I personally really benefit from things like sketches or scrap lifts or themes and stuff like that. So, so that's why, um, this helped me to have a, kind of a jumping off point. Um, I'm just using some things from my stash here because, um, I had no idea what to do for the title. Oh, I should say what this picture is. This is a picture of me at breakfast. And I think this was when we were in Berlin or Amsterdam. I can't remember, uh, last year in the fall. Um, I'm still working away at this album. If you follow me and kind of the projects I'm working on, I've been obviously working on this album for a long time, but the album is mostly, um, all heart collection because I just love the vibes of it, but I'm running low on it. So I'm kind of taking pieces from other collections to make up for it that, that fit in really well. And I find uh, some of these pieces from the heritage collection are just perfect for 
uh, to mesh the two collections together. Uh, so as you can see, this sticker sheet, I think it works really well. Even though the All Heart collection is uh, silver and the um, Heritage collection is gold, I just kind of stick with one or the other and make it work. Um, I also got these cute little flowers from from heritage from the store from the shop um and so that kind of fits in with my floral theme as well and i just think it's so cute and so pretty and um gives a different texture and dimension to the layout um and now i thought there was a lot of black going on in the center but the rest of the page was very white and um i will say i don't have a sewing machine otherwise i probably would have sewn around like the whole cut file and the whole paper and everything but i don't have a sewing machine but it's so funny i've posted photos of layouts before where i've done just like this and people are like oh nice stitching and i'm like haha i didn't stitch it <laughs> it's just a pen it's literally just a good old black pen but it looks like stitching and that's great because um, it gives another texture even if it's not another texture. It's a, like a fake texture. <laughs> so it really, it, it works out well for me. Um, and so I recommend if, if you don't have a sewing machine, it's a really, really good alternative. Um, so I think that helped the light bulb part of the cut file stand out a lot more. So I like the way that looks a little bit better. And then I also ha just have some like mist spray from my sash that I've had forever and I'm going to use that. It's not a dark, it's not a black, it's like a dark gray or something, but it kind of gives the illusion of being black, which I like because I needed more pops of black in the white space because there was so much darkness I felt towards the center with the title and the photo's a little bit dark and different pieces like that, but I wanted there to be black in this, so it wasn't like that was unintentional. Um, I'm going to put some enamel dots around the page, and then I'm also going to do some journaling, and I do my journaling in that bottom part of the light bulb. I don't know what that is called, but um, that is where I do my journaling, and it actually turned out really cute. Um, it was like lines that were there for me, and it was like meant to be, so it was kind of perfect. Um, I will put any and all information down below for Scrapbook Nerd as always um, and check out their shop if you're looking for something to do during this time and get a little bit crafty and and uh, go into craft mode because de it's definitely keeping me busy. Okay, bye guys. Have a great day.